No, 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 no. Come on. Passengers cheaply or with better service. Once the CAD was abolished, airline fares came down. Some airlines went bankrupt. But new airlines were in the end. were not just zero-sum changes, with airlines losing what passengers gain. The country as a whole benefited from deregulation, but the industry became more efficient. Just as there were fewer trucks driving around empty after trucking deregulation, so airplanes began to fly with a higher percentage of their seats filled with passengers after airline deregulation. And passengers usually had more choices of carriers on a given route than before. Much the same thing happened after
incoming swarm. Your team captured the point. Your team lost the point. Your team captured the point. Your team lost the point. of scale, the government has repeatedly taken antitrust action against various companies that gave quantity discounts that the authorities did not like or understand. There was, for example, a well-known antitrust action against the Morton Salt Company in the 1940s for giving discounts to buyers who bought carload lots of their product. 
Businesses that bought less than a cargo bond sold were charged $1.60 a case. Those who bought a cargo bond were charged $1.50 a case. And those who bought 50,000 cases or more in a year's time were charged $1.35. Because there were relatively few companies that could afford to buy so much salt and many more that could not, the competitive opportunities of certain merchants were injured, according to the Supreme Court, which upheld the Federal Trade Commission's actions against the most salt. The government likewise took action against the Standard Oil Company in 1950. decision was defended in a New York Times editorial. Microsoft's resounding defeat in a European antitrust case establishes welcome principles that should be adopted in the United States as guideposts for the future development of the information economy. The court agreed with European regulators that Microsoft had abused its operating system monopoly by incorporating its media player, which plays music and films, into Windows. That shut out rivals like real player. The decision sets a sound precedent that companies may not leverage their dominance in one market, the operating system, to extend it into new ones, the player. The court also agreed that Microsoft should provide rival software companies the information they need to make their products work with Microsoft's server software. The New York Times editorial seemed surprised that others saw the principle involved in this antitrust decision as a mortal blow against capitalism itself. But when free competition in the marketplace is replaced by third-party intervention to force companies to facilitate their competitors' efforts, it is hard to see that as fostering competition as distinguished from protecting competitors. The confusion between the two things is long-standing. Back when Kodachrome was the leading color film in the world, it was also what was aptly called the most complicated film there is to process. Since Eastman Kodak had a huge stake in maintaining the reputation of Kodachrome, it sought to protect that reputation by processing all Kodachrome itself. So it sold the processing and the film together, rather than risk having other processors turn out so bad. Team lost the point. 
Your team lost the point.
marketplace, a crucial fact overlooked by those who compile data on how large a share of the market some company controls. Those bringing antitrust lawsuits generally seek to define the relevant market narrowly so as to produce high percentages of the market controlled by the enterprise being prosecuted. In the famous antitrust case against Microsoft at the turn of the century, for example, the market was defined as that for computer operating systems or standalone personal computers using microchips of the kind manufactured by Intel. This left out not only the operating systems run on Apple computers, but also other operating systems, such as those produced by Sun Microsystems for multiple computers or the Linux system for standalone computers. In this narrowly defined market, Microsoft clearly had a dominant share. The antitrust lawsuit, however, did not accuse Microsoft of jacking up prices unconscionably in the classic manner of monopoly theory. Rather, Microsoft had added an internet browser to its Windows operating system free of charge, undermining rival browser producer Netscape. The existence of all the various sources of potential competition from outside the narrowly defined market may well have had something to do with the fact that Microsoft did not raise prices as it could have gotten away with in the short run, but at the cost of jeopardizing its long-run sales and profits, since other operating systems could have been substituted for Microsoft's system. If the prices of these other operating systems were right, in 2003, Citibank in fact switched from using Microsoft Windows to 14,000 computers. Capture the point. Your team has the lead. Capture the point. Your team lost the point. Your team captured the point. Contested. Incoming swarm. Your team lost the point. Your team captured the point. New control points spawned. Point 
contested. Man down! Your team lost the lead. Capture the point. the lead. Swarm. Your team captured the point. Alex Tuzinski of the Ninth Circuit Control, Control points are imminent. New control points spawn. No matter what percentage of the market you may have at any given moment. Your team captured the point.
think we got them all. Since it is impossible to prove a negative, the accused company cannot disprove that it was pursuing such a goal, and the issue simply becomes a question of whether those who hear the charge choose to believe it. Predatory pricing is more than just a theory without evidence. It is something that makes little or no economic sense. A company that sustains losses by selling below cost to drive out a competitor is following a very business strategy. The only thing it can be sure of is losing money initially. Whether it will recover enough extra profits to make the gamble pay off in the long run is problematic. Whether it can do so and escape the antitrust laws as well is even more problematic. The antitrust laws could lead to millions of dollars in fines and or the dismemberment of the company. But even if the would-be predator manages somehow to overcome these problems, existing competitors will mean eliminating competition. Even when a rival firm has been forced into bankruptcy, its physical equipment and the skills of the people who once made it viable do not vanish into thin air. A new entrepreneur can come along and acquire both, perhaps at low distress sale prices for both the physical equipment and the unemployed workers, enabling the new competitor to have lower costs than the old, and hence to be a more dangerous competitor able to afford to charge lower prices or to provide higher quality at the same price. As an illustration of what can happen, in 1933, the closed went bankrupt, though not because of the predatory pricing. In any event, this bankruptcy did not cause the printing presses Thank you. 
Your team captured the point. It can hardly be surprising that predatory pricing remains Incoming swarm. Your team lost the point. Your team captured the point. Indian entrepreneurs often apply their efforts and capital outside of India, providing goods, employment, and taxes in other countries where they were not so restricted. One such Indian entrepreneur, for example, produced fiber in Thailand, Poland, Canada, and sent this fiber to his factory in Indonesia, where he was He then exported the yarn to Belgium, where it would be made into carpets. It is impossible to know how many other Indian businesses invested outside of India because of the restrictions against monopoly. What is known is that the repeal of monopolies and restrictive trade practices after 1991 was followed by an expansion of large scale enterprises in India. But Indian entrepreneurs and foreign entrepreneurs now found India a better place to establish or expand businesses. Also increasing the matter is the country's economic growth. Movie traps! Swarm. Going with the heavy. Your team lost the point. Swarm eliminated. <laughs> Control point spawn imminent. Your team captured the point. New control point spawned. Your team captured the point. Your team lost the point. Your team captured the point. Your team is winning. Incoming swarm.
eliminated. <laughs> That's what you get! Point contested. Control point spawn imminent. Your team captured the point. New control point spawned. Your team captured the point. Your team lost the point. Point contested. Point contested. Point contested. Point contested.